Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at using the full button in the Dynamics 365 Warehouse Mobile application to split work. Hey guys, so today what we're going to do is take a look at a scenario where you've got a large work order, or it doesn't have to be large, maybe there's a lot of items on your work order, and you can't fit them all onto your pallet, your, your uh, card, or your skid, whatever you're picking to, and you need to be able to split that work up into pieces so that you can pick, pick up some, some of the items, move it to the final destination, come back and get some more, move those to the final destination, so on and so forth. So today we're going to take a look at using the full button in the Warehouse mobile app to split up the work. So what we're going to do is first is going to take a look at the setups, very real simple setup uh, item. So let's take a look at that first. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the setup of this one. So we're going to go underneath the warehouse management module. We're going to go under setup and then the mobile device and then the mobile device menu items. So my sales picking is called sales picking. So we'll scroll down and find that one, sales picking. And the option that turns this on is this allow splitting of work. So this is what's going to allow us to uh, use the full button in the mobile and it's going to split that work up into different pieces. All right, like I said, the setup for that is real simple. Just the one, one flag that you need to set, you know, if you want your workers to be able to do that, to be able to split the work up. So let's take a look and see what the effect of that setting is. We'll, we'll uh, create some work and go pick it. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a sales order to force wholesales for our item number Z0001 for 10. Um, so if we go and take a look at the works, pretty simple work set up. Uh, so we've got one work that was created for the item, picking it from the Z pick location and taking it to the bay door. Um, so notice, you know, right now we only have one work. So what we'll do is we're gonna split this work into two. All right, so I'm gonna copy this work ID and then let's go to our mobile app. And we're going to paste in that work ID. And let me just give it an LP here, uh, license plate. I'm just going to put Scott LP 20, just so we can tell them apart. At this point is where I would come up to the hamburger menu here and, and do a full, right? So you can do this at any time during the pick. Um, normally you'd have more than one item here. You know, we're only doing one item, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the full here. And it's going to ask me to enter a quantity. I'm going to enter in five. And we'll split this in half. All right. So my pick quantity is going to be five. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And it's going to tell me to take that five and put it to the bay door. OK. So let's go ahead and take a look at the work that was created off of that. So if I hit refresh up here. So now I have two different works. So this 228 was our original one. And a 229 was the uh, one that the system created when we did the full. So what it does is um, it takes the work that's been completed and copies that into a new work ID. So we, we've picked five and moved it to bay door and it's moved that to work ID 229. And we can see that down here on the work lines. We have the item number from the Z pick location uh, for five is going to the bay door. And here's our license plate, our LP20. So that leaves our original work still available and open for five left. So to finish this off, all you're going to do is you're just going to go back into the same work ID that we originally went into, and you would just finish picking the uh, picking the items that are left. So I'm just going to put this one. There's got LP21. It's okay here, and then there's five left. I'm going to put a five there, and it's going to tell me to take those five and put it to the bay door. I'll say okay there. So again, if we switch back to our work now, if we Hit the refresh. Now we both have both of these closed. One of them's under LP20 and one under one of them's under LP21. Like I said in the beginning of this video, you're always going to have situations where you can't always get everything that's on your work report on your pallet or your skid or your cart, whatever you're picking to. So you need the ability to to actually split that work up into pieces so you to make it manageable so you can move it. So I've never really had an implementation that didn't use this. I highly recommend going in and turning that on and, and instructing your users how to use the full button. It's very handy. You almost have to use it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please give it a, a like or a thumbs up. And I put a new video out every Tuesday, so feel free to subscribe so you get notified when I put the next one out. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.